Okay, do you want me to lead or do you want me to... No, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just uh, tell you. Don't worry. Okay, hello uh, everyone. Hello, welcome. Oh. Oh, welcome my, everyone uh, to Mini RPG already. of the Week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, already? There we go. Okay. Hello! Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Mini RPG Hello, of the Week. My name is Dylan, aka 16th Tower. I am joined today by a uh, first time co-hosting. Would you like to introduce yourself, co-host? Yeah, I am BMX22C. Uh, I'm the co-host today as well. Hello, I, I hope you are doing uh, well today. Yeah, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good, BMX. Yeah, as well. I'm doing fine. Just a bit of uh, delay on the stream, but uh, yeah, first time <laughs> yeah. casting uh, on on this channel, so everything is a bit um, first time on OBS. First time doing all, <laughs> all the setup. It's a bit a bit scuffed, but hey, apparently Noah said <laughs> it's fine. It's all, all scuffed. Um, so today we have a map by. Uh, it's not. Wait, okay. Yeah, we have a map it's by, by Yog. Yog. I think. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's called Back and Force uh, City. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of the city here, just having a look around the map. We can yep. see some, uh, some urban structures, some skyscrapers. Oh, we can see that. Um, we can, I, we, okay. I can put my camera free. This is going to be pretty good for developing the kind of mini RPG of the week lore. That's what a lot of people are here for. Uh, they just come for the lore, you know, <laughs> the, yeah, the sweet backstory that we have. <laughs> um, although it's interesting because I often, I think, have a bad habit on this stream of uh, not talking about the game a lot and talking about the lore. Um, but hopefully that'll be offset a bit this week because BMX, you are not just casting uh, this week on Mini RPG of the Week. You are also kind of like a frequent-ish competitor in the competition as well. Yes, a tiny bit. So you Sorry. Can bring kind of... Yeah, I'll try to do a few runs before um, uh, yeah. before turning into like full caster mode. Uh, and yeah. my trackman crashed, so uh, I'll reconnect <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Listen, it happens sometimes. We promised it would be a scuff stream, so what's a scuff without a crash here? Or there, indeed, you know? indeed. As long as we don't flat uh, crash on like. You know the final uh, round. Yeah. it shouldn't be too bad altogether. Exactly. So. Exactly. All right. Let's switch. Let me just reconnect real quick, and then we'll switch to um, the game scene. 
Um, um, so, yeah, go ahead. But yeah, so uh, I was going to say, like, BMX, you're actually, from what I've seen, like, the couple of games that I have casted that you've been in, you're pretty good at Trackmania as well. Yeah, um, like you, I, I don't like to say that I'm good. You were pretty high up last week, were you? Yes, uh, somehow you on last 10? week. I was top uh, four, I think. So, yeah, top ten. Top, top four, four, yeah. Top, <laughs> or top three, I don't exactly remember. But somehow I made it up to that one. So okay, let's try to yeah. watch Yannick. I guess if we want to... Let's see what Yannick does. Yeah. You see, you said this is your first time producing. You're not sure what to do. You already know. If in doubt, just kind of switch to Yannick for a little bit. So he's <laughs> heading up to you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Uh, I can put the chat back because uh, obviously, otherwise, I'll uh, I'll struggle a bit. Uh, can I put the chat like in pop up mode? So I can... oh yeah, pop up. There we go. So I can put uh, my nice. note. You know the little notes. All right. Okay, so we're kind of getting a little bit of a look here uh, at the track through how Yannis is taking it. Um, we have a couple of notes that Yogg gave us about the nature of yes. the map this evening. Originally, this was actually meant to be kind of a full-scale RPG map, not just a mini RPG. But according to Yogg, the project that was designed for sort of fell through. So he took what he had of the map, he cut off a little bit of the end, and we have it in its sort of mini RPG format that we're seeing this evening. So um, I wonder if there's going to be kind of anything notable about that, if we'll see anything that maybe goes like, okay, I see how maybe this is going to be a longer RPG at one time, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe, or maybe it's uh, like it can act like a, some kind of of test, like you know, some beta testing of the beginning, or maybe a part of the, like a longer map if he wants to continue. Yeah. Well, maybe. I do actually see one sign that we used to be on an RPG and not a mini RPG. It's the giant logo in the back of the map that says <laughs> RPG. So that's one hint about the nature of this map. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have some backward parts uh, that I see. Yeah. Uh, we have some reactors as well. I hope um, we won't see any cut. Uh, Sefil, I'm looking at you, please. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sefil. There's, there's a great lore developing around Sefil where oh, exactly. not only does Sefil just like find these cuts every time, but a lot of the times like the cuts aren't even necessarily that much better than just following the intended path <laughs> of the map True. outside of like a world record context. Like yeah. in terms of the sort of round base base the round based structure of mini rpg a lot of these cuts aren't even that helpful and yet seafill is going for them every time which i love to see true like in live rounds it's almost impossible to like review yeah. those cuts but hey yeah and but then occasionally sometimes seafill will just like come out of nowhere it's great yeah absolutely like at, at the end of the competition like oh hey uh, by the way i got the wr if you want to, to watch you know <laughs> yeah it's so funny Alright, I'll, I'll so try a few of, rounds. I'll try a few yeah, rounds. Yeah, we're gonna uh, see if BMX can take it. Um, it's a pretty interesting map so far. I especially like um, I like the kind of risky fin that we saw Yannick's taking a couple of tries at. Uh, it seems pretty interesting. Yes, the, the map seems uh, quite yeah interesting. That that's for sure. It has a few parts that you, we don't see. Oh my god! Uh, often, oh, <laughs> what's happening? Okay. <laughs> See, I'm happy to see this because normally I feel like in sort of practice rounds when we're watching them on Mini RPG of the Week, what we'll normally do is kind of go to, um, you know, maybe a player who has kind of already had a bit of a chance to familiarize themselves with the map. So yep. getting to see you here kind of take your first try at it and just see how <laughs> someone kind of reacts to it. Not blind, but, you know, on a first playthrough. It's really interesting because that's certainly one of the things for me as someone who does not play a lot of track mania yeah. that i enjoy about watching this stream is just seeing like how quickly different players can like pick up different parts of the map uh kind of really nail those tricks down and um, just simple like navigation and stuff like that as well and um, so it's nice to kind of get to see that process with you here bmx from like step <laughs> one true and also something with rpg is that sometimes you feel like something is i mean easy or easier let's say but when you try it, it's very, very hard. <laughs> yeah. it's, I mean, I think it's something with Trackmania in general that it's like a simple looking game. And when you watch players, you're like, oh, it's OK. It's an easy game, you know, just pick it up. <laughs> yeah. And no, the, the yeah, the reality catch yeah. you up. 
rather quickly. Me and uh, me and Alex Newalek, we actually have a friend who like sometimes he'll come in and he'll watch the mini RPG of the week streams. And he was chatting to us one time where he was like, "Yeah, I was watching the streams. I was thinking, you know, this game looks pretty cool. I'll pick it up. I'll give it a try." Yeah. And he uh, said I mean... like the tutorial was so <laughs> difficult. Like he struggled to get through like the first couple of stages the game throws at you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you can try, but you certainly won't be able to yeah, catch up with all the better players. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've yet to see him compete in a mini RPG of the week. Uh, <laughs> maybe one day. I mean, yeah, he can, though. It's a uh, competition for everyone. You'll just probably be out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, something I, I say, first round is never an elimination. You know, it's not till round uh, two, fair, so fair. always fair. at least get past one <laughs> round. <laughs> at least past round one. Yeah, um, that kind of is our format, just to go over it. I realize I forgot to do it earlier. We start with uh, kind of our little 15 minute practice section. That is what we are doing right now. So we're seeing BMX kind of get to grips with the map. After that, we will go into rounds. So the map is played in rounds. First round, no elimination. But then from the second round on, players will be eliminated until we are down to our final two and then our final one as we get our winner. The amount of players who are eliminated is based on the amount of players who are actually in the game. So we've got 87 players in the server right now who are going to be ready to get started. So in our first couple of rounds, we're going to go to eight eliminations per round. After that, it'll quickly drop down to four and then to two. Um, so that's kind of the format we're working at. And I think it's an interesting format. Um, one of the things that's kind of interesting about it is that it means it isn't just about the best racer. Obviously being really, really good at Trackmania is gonna help, but yep. also it's about consistency. You can't exactly. just have one good race, you have to repeat it over and over again. Exactly, yes. The consistency is really the most important thing. At yeah. least, um, the thing is, never finish last. Or in the red Yeah, part. never finish last. <laughs> uh, as long as it's round two, never finish last. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly. It was actually... Um, oh, sorry, go on. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. It's fine. Um, I was just going to say, it's interesting that I was kind of like making that point about consistency, but last week we sort of had that proved wrong. Uh, we had yes. um, <laughs> just kind of one of maybe the best Trackmania players out there uh, came in and just sort of ran away with the competition. Um, how did you feel kind of, not to kind of talk too much about last week's competition, but actually like sort of racing against that level of competition, how did that feel? Was it a lot of pressure or were you kind of even aware it was happening during the game? Uh, I'm not really watching, like I, I'm just making sure I'm not finishing last. That's honestly the hardest thing. Um, and yeah. also watching that maybe other better players will do a fail somehow <laughs> in front. Because last That's map always you nice had to a see. lot of <laughs> Yeah, you had a lot of like possibilities to fail on last map, uh, last week. Yeah. And yeah, so I just had to make sure to not crash or crash like on parts where I could easily respawn. So it's what you said, yeah. basically, like consistency is really important because I wasn't the best by far, but yet I was doing okay-ish at almost every round. So yes, yeah, made up. Um, that's it, like, if you can kind of, you know, if you can consistently get, like, you know, mid places and then win at the end, it's, it requires a lot of skill and a big jump at the end, but technically that is a way you can win many RPG of the week, yes. even if you only win one actual round, right? Yes, exactly. Just, it's, uh, I mean, last map, it had a few quirks, so, and yeah. when it's like that, it means that yeah, there is a lot of possibilities to fail. Well, you, of course, but other better players. And somehow that's what happened. Yeah, that's that was one thing that I liked about last map. Um, specifically, there was the section where you kind of had to like backflip off the ceiling. And it wasn't just like kind of a difficult uh, hit off the ceiling. There was also like a pretty nasty gutter by the side where <laughs> if you didn't get it perfect, you were just trapped in that gutter. Um, I really enjoyed that because one thing that I love to see as a spectator of Mini RPG yeah. of the Week is maps that just have like nasty little bits like that that I oh, feel like okay. are going to tilt the players. <laughs> I feel like that makes for um, more interesting spectation. I don't know. But yeah. as a player, I'm sure that's not very fun to come across in some sense. No, I mean, as a player, it's definitely not 
like something we <laughs> truly enjoy but at the same time like i said it can like bring a lot of uh, like comebacks uh because yeah. yeah like a lot of good players can fail on those parts so that's one of the like kind of nice aspects of it as well it does create Maybe not in necessarily the most fair way, but it does create like sort of a more elastic game where you can see kind of like underdog narratives and surprise upsets and things like that. And, Absolutely. Uh, sometimes they're very upsets and you can see that in the in-game chat sometimes. <laughs> Definitely. Um, but kind of looking at our map tonight, it doesn't look like there are too many sections like that. I don't know, you've been getting to grips with it for a while now. How are you feeling it so far? Um, it's quite like... An enjoyable map. There are a uh, few harder parts, but generally, uh, I'd say it's a, yeah, it's a good map. The one hard part that I found was the, um, the like bug slide right before yeah. checkpoint two. I think it is. Mm -hmm. uh, that one we will probably see a lot of fails on that one because there is like a bump on the left, and if you lose grip on that one. It means you lose the bug slide as well and go back uh, a few meters. And I think it will bring a lot of uh, like comebacks and, and fails here. Yeah. I think it's interesting to get a section like that sort of early into the map as well. Mm -hmm. um, because it means it can create some nice gaps, which can create some nice kind of gap closing moments if players yeah. are kind of good enough to pull one of those off as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I see... On this part, on the barrel after the like magnet uh, plastic, it's a weird part, but like the barrel that comes after, I saw Yannix just like not do a barrel on that one. So it means it can be faster. It's a lot like it's a trick here, but definitely faster. So we can we'll probably see some comebacks on that part as well. Um, okay. And the reactor uh, at the very end, I think you can gain a lot of speed on that one as well. Uh, we'll see some yeah. last second comeback. Uh, will be really interesting mm -hmm. to, to see. And what about, there's a couple of different routes in the map. How do you feel about kind of the more risky routes versus the easier routes? Do you think those risky routes, are they kind of too difficult or do you think they're a nice level of difficulty? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't really noticed the <laughs> easier routes, or maybe I've done the easier routes. Uh, I think there's there's the section just at the end, and then there's one other section. It's a bit, I think it's around checkpoint three. Um, uh, yeah, there is like a safe way on, on the right, uh, after yeah. checkpoint three, maybe it is, yes. Uh, yeah, it's a nice safe way. Well, I mean, the thing is, it's hard to judge how uh, fast you need to be to like clear the gap right after yeah. uh, checkpoint three. But this will probably yeah bring uh, a lot of fails uh, if you yeah. are not sure about your speed. And you'll lose a lot yeah. of time on that one. Yeah, and we're probably going to notice a lot of those kind of earlier in the stream, especially now as we get into our rounds. Uh, just our first round, so as you can see there on the screen, no elimination this round. If we have a look over on the right, we can see kind of the times we have gotten so far on the map. Uh, mm -hmm. So we've got Artis, Ice, Hazard, uh, all kind of up around a 105, 106. 106. I think 106 is the GPS time for the map. Um, uh, but we've seen, I can't see or maybe it's a, it's a high 105. Plugins, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's 106.0 yeah. or 0.1 if you want to run that up. Uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, only one player, uh, Artis, has the uh, also time. Yeah, I think it's interesting because one of the things that Yogg said in the notes we received was like, uh, the GTA this time, it's this, uh, but I think it can probably be better. I'm not one of the best racers, but after kind of 15 minutes of letting some of our best Trackmania Mini RPG of the Week racers at it, uh, we've only got one player, Artis, so far who has actually beaten it. So yes. uh, not too bad of a time from Yogg, but obviously he does exactly. kind of have that mapper's advantage as well. So He has, but at the same time, yeah, like I said, uh, like he said, sorry, um, he's maybe not the best player, but when you see Artis and Ice, even Hazard not having the also time in 15 minutes, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good time, I think. Uh, also, yeah, I think so too. Also, it's the time to vote. How many players do you think will go out in the next round? 
Uh, we got 84 total. Yes. I am really bad at voting on how many players <laughs> I think I'm going to go out. So normally I either like undershoot or overshoot on purpose. I'll try and give like a real guess this week. Mm -hmm. I think we might see maybe nine players eliminated. I don't think. Nine? I don't think it's too bad of a map in terms of like round two DNFs. I think we aren't going to be too bad in terms of eliminations. But maybe I could be wrong. I notice uh, we've actually already got a couple of DNFs in on round one. And hopefully those guys can do a little bit better in round two. <laughs> what do you think? Um, good question. I, I see a lot of like um, safe ways, and they like they seem relatively let's say easy. I don't think there is yeah. like really like that hard of like parts of the map. So I think yeah, I'll I'll say I'll say nine. I want to say eight, but yeah, I'll I'll say nine as well. Uh, just okay. because, yeah, I think like basically everyone will be able to finish. Uh, we're, we're watching reunited now Alpha. in our prediction. Exactly. We're yeah, Alpha. we are. We are. We'll see. Uh... So that means if if one of us is wrong, we both are. But if one of us is right, we both <laughs> are. So we're together no matter what happens. All right, then you know what? I'll I'll take eight. I'll take eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing kind of how Alpha is getting on anyway. Um, Alpha is kind of 67th right now, so uh, sort of floating around the middle of the pack for our competitors tonight. Um, we're seeing kind of Alpha approach this risky route versus the safe route. The risky route, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, the safe route definitely lets you build up the speed, but yeah. Alpha, he seemed pretty safe there and still able to build up the speed on that kind of more dangerous section as well. Um, coming into this kind of reactor section now and onto the barrel, we'll see how he gets on. Um, a couple of DNFs coming in. Uh, we got the bottom two. Yeah, so that's kind of one of the things you got to watch out. Even when you sort of yep. clear over uh, kind of the curve as you're coming in, you can still get a little bit of a bonk off the wall there as well. Uh, indeed, we see Mimo. Okay, Mimo Jr. is playing as well. Uh, one minute late. Oh, yeah. um, oh, DNF? I can't click DNF. on him. Ah, couldn't click yeah, on him. Seems to have gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Yozo DNF? Um, yeah, it was weird. Yeah, Wait. I guess DNF. Is Although there... it's not in the DNF column. Sometimes DNF like glitches out. I don't know. Oh yeah, works. maybe it's a fake DNF. Ah. Yeah, I yeah, think it can that happen. might be it. Yeah, because um, Yozo is a good player. Especially because I was surprised to see Mimo like that far back, because Mimo is normally uh, kind of one of our better racers as well. Yes. So. That what surprised me as well. Um, yeah. Also, Yozo is like a good player, so I'm like surprised he would. DNF like that. Yeah. 34? Ooh, 34. <laughs> what? Eliminated, so. Oh my Ooh. god, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> That's, uh, oh. yeah. So 9 and 8 were a bit of an underestimate. <laughs> <laughs> what what Listen, happened? Um, sometimes. Oh no, there was Mimo, I think, in the eliminations as well. So I don't know what happened to Mimo there, but went out. Um, I guess we were uh, maybe not appreciating. Maybe how strict the cutoff point in time for this map is. Apparently. Yo, what, yeah. hap what happened? It's like a purge or something. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that is... That's crazy. That is a lot of players eliminated. Oh, wow. Yes. With, 30 players. Even like... That's so weird because you sort of were having like first-hand experience of the map and were predicting it would be pretty low. Um, so I guess this is another kind of testament to maybe your skill in mini RPG of the week, BMX. You, uh, uh, well, you yeah, thought a lot maybe. of players would be up around your skill level, <laughs> maybe. <Oops. laughs> okay, we'll watch Glast uh, for that one. Glast, a uh, very good, uh, very good player overall. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, fail on the little backflip. Uh, yeah, it's kind of yeah, hard to. Is pull up the um, plastic part because if you like bump while doing the the turn on the left you can definitely get like a very uh, wrong way out of the turn and get a very weird um, bump right after so it's something to yeah, watch it's uh, actually it's, it's something I noticed uh, someone was saying in the in-game chat I didn't notice who it was but they were saying they kind of feel like the map might be improved if there was actually another checkpoint between CP2 and CP3. Um, I'm not sure if there's really that much space for it, even though it's kind of maybe a difficult section after CP2. There's not actually a lot of like physical track to fit an extra checkpoint in there, but I don't know, what do you think? 
Well, yeah, um, I'm with you on that one. Like, I feel like there is enough space, but like, it's not really sp that much spread apart that you need a CP in between. Like, it's just a jump uh, down and then the backflip. So, yeah. it's not like there is a lot of things to do. You can definitely fail on that one, that's for sure, but to the point I'm where noticing, you need uh, another one? Nah, maybe not. I'm not sure if we're seeing a fake DNF. I, these gotta be fake DNFs. Artis and Seafill, no yeah, way they're DNFing this early. Artis has beaten the GPS on the map. Seafill, I don't know, maybe Seafill was looking for a cut and somehow <laughs> maybe, yeah, DNF'd, but... I don't know, I feel like these are some fake DNFs we might be seeing here. Uh, and yes, okay, that was yeah. uh, fake DNF. so Alpha Dream <laughs> is out as well. Damn. Yeah, so Alpha Dream, who we were kind of watching in round uh, one yeah. or round two, did at least make it one round past us, so he wasn't hit by kind of the the streamer's curse, um, but unfortunately <laughs> didn't get a little bit further than that. Fair, fair. Yeah, I'm still surprised, like... 34 players out? <laughs> I, I was I was asking myself that like, maybe there is like an unrespawnable uh, unrespawnable un checkpoint. Sorry, I struggled with that one. Uh, <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> uh, but no, apparently, um, yeah, skill issue, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> skill issue happens sometimes. <laughs> uh, look, it means our evenings just became a little bit freer because we have to cast <laughs> the stream for a lot less time. So. True, true. Okay, glass will <laughs> fail. Okay. Let's uh, spectate Artis for uh, for a moment. Let's see. Uh, let's see the best players. Yeah, kind of the top strats that we have yeah. on the map right now. Marius is Although uh, Marius actually though. kind of poking ahead. Marius is yeah. kind of another one of our really good mini RPG of the week players. Yes, indeed. Uh, so no surprise there. I think me and Alex, uh, we were looking at the stats last week. I think Marius might be tied for the most wins on mini RPG of the week. Uh, I think Marius had eight wins in total. Um, me and Alex were kind of talking about it. We were anticipating who would be the first player to win 10 mini RPGs oh, of the week. Okay. Um, Artis is another kind of candidate as well. Artis is another one of our really good mini RPG of the week racers too. So uh, coming in first in this round with a 105.9. So again, uh, kind of getting these 105s. Um, yep. It'll be interesting to see if anyone kind of can cut that down to the 104 and um, that Yogg sort of predicted we might see as the yeah. best time this evening. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Yogg said the GPS time is 105.4, uh, oh, which wow. artists okay. still yeah. get as well. So artists yeah. is, yeah, that's much in front. And so Yogg said maybe we can push that to like a 104 somehow. So I think we'll see, mm -hmm. uh, we'll see this because like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 away is not that much in terms of, of like RPG. Um, no, definitely not. But um, I do find it's interesting though, because I feel like a lot of the time on mini RPG of the week, we'll see like uh, the mapper come in and be like, oh, this is my sort of predicted time. This is the GPS time. This is how I think people will do. And oftentimes players will very quickly kind of overcome that. And you'll see sort of maybe the top 10 or even the top 15 within yes. the first couple of rounds already have that time well beaten. So I think it's interesting that uh, it's kind of holding so well right now where we're already on round 5 of 21. So we're about a quarter of the way through our rounds this evening. And still, Artis is our only player so far uh, who's actually beaten out that time. Am I correct in saying that? Or, oh, or no, I think so we've got kind of the top 5 or 4 have beaten it. But still, um, uh, yes. so a lot of people still not overcoming that time yet. Still not a lot indeed. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, and exactly what you said, like... Oftentimes, people will push the times quite far, and we'll see. We could see maybe like a one or three, but like like York said, it seems rather like either impossible or really really hard. Yeah, at this point, I wouldn't expect to see any one of threes tonight. Um, me neither. Which yeah, I guess tonight at least. It speaks to a good understanding of the map from York. So good job there. Uh, we're yeah. seeing Yannick's oh, come in. Yannick's, oh. Mm, oh! Oh, that's, that's an unfortunate bonk. That is something to keep an eye out for if you go too high into that. Yannick's was coming in for a nice clean 106. Unfortunately, has to just take the 111 uh, instead. Um, pretty clean up into the end, but yeah, you can see there. Uh, I guess that's why they call it a risky finish. Yep. <laughs> Even clearing the risky finish, you can bump the easy yeah. way. 
Um, but yeah, so we're kind of seeing, uh, again, kind of Artis, Ice, Hazard, and they're kind of our top three right now. Um, kind of classic uh, mini RPG of the week, top three competitors doing pretty good. How do you feel you would be doing BMX based on your time in kind of the warm-ups uh, if you were competing? Do you think you'd be doing pretty well or...? I think I would be able to review the map. Um, would that be enough for top 10 or for top 20? I mean, top 20, I guess, yes, if I don't fail. <laughs> but I think I would fail on the bug slide right before CP2. I guess that would be my fail and I'll just lose the grip and be out of this. Um, yeah, I wonder if we kind of Maybe in the next round, if we keep an eye on some of the kind of um, lower ranking players that are still currently in, I kind of see how people are handling that bug slide because yeah. it is kind of something that we predicted as maybe uh, one of the more sort of difficult sections in the map. So it'd be interesting to see a couple of rounds in now how players are getting to grips with it. Uh, we went from one Swissman to another. Uh, <laughs> True. Swissman, the correct term. I don't think Swissman is the right term at all. Uh, uh, but Swiss goalie here. Yeah, I think it would just um, say Swiss. Swiss. Yeah, probably you would just say Swiss. Yeah. <laughs> Swissman, though, you know, sometimes you just say <laughs> Swissman. Swiss okay. And it, yeah, it, it sounds bad, but uh, Swiss goalie coming in at number 34 right now. Uh, so kind of hanging out uh, a little bit towards the end of the pack. Um, but still seems to have, at this stage, a pretty decent grip on the map as well, coming into our reverse section here. Yep, um, seems into like our little uh, kind of reactor part two. Looks like they'll be in with that one. Let's watch the oh easy finish. Okay, so they are yeah. taking the easy. Yeah, it's something I've noticed. Um, we've still got a fair amount of players who are sticking to that easy finish. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, it goes to the easy finish and still gets twenty sixth place. So kind of around the middle of the pack that's left in right now. So still uh, definitely safe to go on that easy finish. Pretty soon, though, it's not going to be safe anymore, and yes. I wonder if we are going to see competitors like Swiss kind of move away from it and into the more difficult finishes as well. Um, for example, we saw Weege there, 37, uh, but still kind of went for that risky mm -hmm. fill. Seafill, oh. uh, mm -hmm. hanging Seafil. back pretty far. Yeah. Uh, uh, looking happening? for a cut, buddy? What's going on? <laughs> uh, tell us, Seafill, what happened? Yeah, maybe Seafill just had enough. Yeah, or he tried like a rear out again and he got out with this. Ah. Yeah. Um, happen. I'm sure he'll still get world record in a couple of hours anyway. Yeah, if he found a reroute, he'll probably get the WR. Yeah. <laughs> um, so hopefully now we can kind of keep an eye on how players are doing with this bug slide. Maybe not, though. It looked like uh, Swiss mm. had to kind of reset there a little bit early, so we might actually end up missing out on seeing how that bug slide goes. Um, but. Uh, yeah, Swiss seem to get through it pretty okay anyway. One day we will see how everyone is dealing with it, uh, but it looks like today is another day. Um, Swiss currently in our bottom four, uh, and kind of racing a little bit neck and neck with uh, Choco right now to see who will come out ahead. Another reset for Swiss will knock him back a little bit further. Mm, yeah, I'm looking for a Swiss goalie. I don't think you'll be able to catch up on that one. Uh, it seems yeah, uh, it like they are quite far. Uh, it's uh, number uh, red, and they are um, yeah, more than seven seconds uh, behind. Yeah, it seems quite hard there. Uh, did Choco um, finish? No, maybe, maybe someone. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, ca oh Caster Curse. Sorry, Ooh. I'll switch back. Caster Curse uh, really uh, struck and, there. Oh, and Caster Curse, I crashed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Choco uh, reversed Choco. the caster curse. <laughs> uh, okay, Choco, yeah, okay, they make me crash. You were hit by the counter spell there. It happens sometimes. Yeah, it happens. The week. <laughs> That's my bad. We're going to get right back into the game here. No problem. Uh, it happens all the time. Um, and again, we promised a scuffed stream earlier and we are delivering it. And if you don't like it, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Stop watching? Nah, don't do that. Nah, That's lame. they won't. <laughs> they won't. They'll never stop. Ah, okay. Spectate. Uh, password. Manzito. Yeah, I don't have the password. <laughs> GG. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no password? <laughs> no. No password. Zeto. Okay, let's see. Let's see if you I'll... can get Yannick's stream uh, up. And we can watch Yannick's stream. True. We'll just 
Yoink, Yannick's stream. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, ah. Here's our beautiful faces again uh, as we get up Yannick's stream. There, okay. So um, this is what happens on Mini RPG of the Week. Um, we like to keep it fast and loose. And luckily, we have the skills to keep the stream going, even when there's not necessarily uh, a game to cast. Um, but Yannick's can bail us out, so it's no worries. <laughs> Uh, we're seeing Yannick's do kind of uh, 16th right now. Um, we are down into round 8 out of round 21. Unfortunately, all of the UI of the game is now in French. So BMX, if we need to read any uh, UI, we might have to leave a lot of it up to you. I don't know if my French will hold up enough to get me through it. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I'm just French uh, to... Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, so Yannick's is, yeah, certain place uh, for the UI. It's, uh, it's fine for now. Uh, yeah, struggling. it's fine. I, you don't have to read the UI that much anyway. No. And it seems to be struggling so, a bit. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Um, kind of down into 26th out of about 35 left. Uh, right. It still gets the finish in the end, um, but uh, kind of interesting to see uh, how even sort of some of our top players are struggling with this week's map in some ways. Uh, other players that we're still kind of seeing doing pretty well, uh, Beta Toast, uh, another kind of one of our top names that we might be used to seeing in Mini RPG of the Week, has now entered kind of the top competitors and has sort of beaten the GPS time as well. Uh, we are seeing more it's people awesome. come in with that time uh, sort of under the GPS time. <laughs> oh, we were really hit by the streamer's curse tonight. We oh, can't yeah. A, a proper buffer on Yannis' stream. <laughs> Uh, this is it's so good. Scuffed. It's soul. It's soul. Okay, we need soul. Uh, All right, four players out: uh, Weesh, Slith, Akios, and Softy D. Softy D with uh, Fembi ah. as the the tag as well. That was a name I think Alex really appreciated last week. So I'll give it another shout out again. Uh, let me just switch. Okay, there we are. Oh, we don't have. Oh, yeah, because we don't have in-game sound though. Ah. No. Uh, <laughs> listen, the sound of our voices is more than good enough. That's what okay, people we'll really come to this stream for. We'll play music again then. Um, we'll get some audio up, yeah. <laughs> hold on. There. No, it's good. Bam, um, there we go. Scuff stream all nice. the way. Listen to this. This is an audio landscape, okay? I feel like <laughs> I can close my eyes. I could go to a, dis a different planet. That's how good this music is. It's way better than whatever we'd be playing if we were just in-game. It's great. Um, thank you for the share PMX on this <laughs> that I can't actually hear because it's muted for me, but like... <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll just pretend. It's fine. Yeah, I'll catch it on the VOD. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh. I was sent the password. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But Yannick's stream is so good. <laughs> Yannick's stream. Okay, we switch back. Uh, join. Well, I can join. Okay, we back. Guys, oh, look at this. We are we're back. In. We're back. Yeah. We are so fucking back. It's never okay. been more back. <laughs> listen, listen to that sweet, sweet in-game soundtrack that I am not hearing at all right now. Oh, it's so okay. good. We can, we can mute. We can mute the music now. We, we can don't need it anymore. Music. <laughs> okay, now we have we have proper audio. Thank you, uh, Mikmo. We've Thank got you, Zeto. Audio. Thank you, guys, uh, for all the audio files in the audience. You are welcome. Uh, we're seeing how Andy Baguette is getting on right now. Andy Baguette repping Norway, it would seem, uh, as we kind of get into this oh. bug slide. Oh. Unfortunately, uh, well, maybe kind of what we were wanting to see, <laughs> but Andy does kind of mess up the bug slide a little bit. Uh, seems to get through kind of the actual slide part of it pretty well but an unfortunate bonk as he kind of cuts it off just a little bit too early. Uh, watching Ice now. Ice, um, again, kind of another one of our classic mini RPG of the week, good players, TM. Uh, Ice is kind of doing pretty well on our map so far in fifth in this round, uh, kind of neck and neck with players like Yannix and with players like Artis, who is number one, but you can see kind of there the gap between him and the rest of the players following him right now is not altogether that small. So we're kind of seeing how Ice handles the reverse section as he comes into it here. Uh, definitely sort of um, kind of an interesting part of the map. I like the way it comes into this kind of uh, then uh, sort of reactor segment as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I think you were right as well. One of your predictions when you were kind of talking about the map earlier during the warm up rounds, there's a nice opportunity to build up a lot of speed on that yes. section as well. Mm -hmm. um, which uh, Ice maybe necessarily didn't get the most speed out of it that you could get out of it. But definitely on some of the players we've seen, they've gotten a really nice boost out of that segment. So uh, always nice to see something like that that can kind of close gaps just before the very end of the map as well. Creates a nice bit of drama. Indeed. Oh, Dark is out. Dark uh, is a very good player. He yeah. was um, in the top 10 for um, for a good part of the of those rounds. I don't know what happened. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, kind of what we were saying at the start with consistency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. It just happens sometimes. You get one bad round and unfortunately that can be the end of mini RPG of the week for at least one more week for you. Uh, watching yes. Glass again, we kind of watched some early maps with Glass onto uh, Bayron right now. Sorry, I'm uh, switching a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Alex, uh, sometimes when he casts, will just like rapid fire switch between the cars. And I'm not <laughs> sure why he does it. Uh, he never keeps on any of them long enough to like say anything about how they're racing. But I'll just talk about their skins. It's fine. Do you think we've got... Uh, have we seen any cool skins this evening? Do you think the MX? Uh, cool skins. Uh, wait, talking about skins. Hey, wait, we can see skins. No? Yeah, we can see skins. But this week can we, we can? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I mean, thought we were seeing skins. They they usually are disabled. No? Maybe they are. <laughs> There's been weeks where we can see skins. Um, uh, well, maybe. Okay, I'm just surprised we can... No, can we? Or am I... Am, am I... It's fully possible we can't see skins, and I just tried to bring us onto a topic that we literally can't talk about. Oh, but that, that one, Corzo, the is, nature of the stream. Uh, the NDA, it's a uh, custom skin by Corzo. Uh, Corzo is out. Yeah, by the Corzo's way. got Unlucky a skin. Corzo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, poor Corzo. <laughs> Sorry, casters curse Corzo. Uh, <laughs> we were looking for a skin, and you nominated one for us, buddy. You had a custom skin. You had to go out, so we can say there yeah, is no sorry. custom skin on that edition. Yeah. Custom, uh, or Corzo actually went out because we sent our people to deal with them, so that's why yeah. they will be continuing in this week's edition. Into our top 20 now, or our top 19 even, as we come into finally the final third of our rounds for this evening. This will be our last four player elimination round. After that, once we drop below 16 players, I think we go down to our two eliminations, so things are gonna slow down a bit and give players more time to kind of fight out those bottom spots. Uh, but even now, we're kind of seeing the map become uh, a little bit sparser with cars. I think nearly everyone there went for the risky section on that sort of post checkpoint three route decision. Not unsurprising and sort of something you would expect to see at this point of the competition. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Gonto. Yannix. Uh, how's Yannix getting on? Not doing doing really too well. Bad. There is like a battle for the top three with Artis, Ice, and Yannix there. Uh, top three, yeah, pretty top tight. Three pack. Yes. Oh, they are getting a low speed. Artis is getting in front. Yeah, of we saw Ice and... got the best boost there. there. We go. Yes, Ice. Ar yeah, nice Artis finish from all three of them there. Uh, three players there, all clearing the GPS uh, by a fair bit. And I liked as well. We kind of saw as the three of them were sort of neck and neck in that section there. It was really as Ice sort of got the nicest speed boost out of that segment um, that we started to see kind of uh, Ice pull ahead there. Yeah, I and seems to so have kind of... a, a great um, like a zoop on the last reactor. I don't know <laughs> what he's doing exactly. I haven't really uh, taken notes, but yeah, it seems like he's got it. Yeah, like um... on, on our top 15 now. Uh, Yannick's still in. We have Artis, Green Ken Yannick, uh, Bros and Hazard. They're still in. Artanier. Goliath's brother and probably a lot of other people that I didn't see on the leaderboard. Yeah, probably at least 15 of them. Maybe more. Um, mm -hmm. Probably Maybe not less. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Listen, we don't know. There could be hackers. And if there are any hackers or cheaters, fair, fair. welcome. You know, we're happy to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we end. don't discriminate. The more players, the no, better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And just, let's just play together. Yeah. We we promote cooperation and happy playtime here <laughs> on the RPG of the week. Because if we didn't promote cooperation, we might get in trouble when we have to stream off Yannick's display. Yeah. No. Just yeah. We will be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, Yannick, please 
don't strike us, it's fine. Okay, we just you only have a few minutes. <laughs> please, Yannick, <laughs> please. Yannick, you're a very good player, okay? You you won't be out, you'll win this one, okay? Yeah, Love I think Yannick is going to win this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm cheering for Yannick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Same, I'm rooting for Yannick <laughs> for a very odd reason, but yeah, okay, we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> but Listen, Brinken and happens. Spoder. Brinken and, and Spoder, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, Spoder, American. Oh, um, I think this American. might be like the first American I've ever seen on a mini True. RPG of the week. We, uh, we don't see much like... Uh, we get some of... Canadians sometimes. True, um, yeah. But yeah, I think Spoder may be our first American I've ever seen. Doesn't mean they haven't been here, but just in terms of that we've been spectating. Okay, well, we each actually is American as well, and yeah. I recognize Weege's yeah. name. I just say wrong things all the time. That's kind of the main uh, appeal of me as a caster. I'm just always going to be wrong, so... Yeah, but honestly, you're right as well, because we, we don't see a lot of, uh, like, Americans on this time of the day, because they are usually, yeah, that's true. I guess, working. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even in the East Coast right now, it's, what, like, five hours back from me, so in the yeah. East Coast, it's, like, quarter to three. Uh, West Coast, they're like probably just getting up. So if they're that <laughs> dedicated to mini RPG of the week, I would have huge respect for them. But also, I can fully understand why they might not be here. Fair. And oh. then Trackmania as well. Okay. It's just kind of more of a European game than an American game too. So another way. Fair enough. Yeah. But makes we see, a bit of sense. like on the statistics, there are a lot uh, of American players. I think they took over uh, Germans and French in terms like of play a uh, player count. They, we just yeah. don't see them that often because they are usually less skilled because of like history, let's yeah. say, and because of time, like times and differences as well. Time differences, and then like, even though there are more say American players than there are German or French players, I'm sure if you look at it in terms of like the proportion of the population of those countries, like America's mm -hmm. got a huge population compared to Germany or France. Yes, um, so exactly. That's that kind of would explain some of those higher numbers, and then as well. Yep. It's a car game, and I feel like car games are just sort of, that's the European game, you know? Uh, like, Americans have their own genres, but car games, Europeans kind of run away with a lot of them, I feel like. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I didn't really think about that, but what do you yeah. think, like, American players, like, what kind of game they, do they play, usually? I guess I think, like, FPS. Yeah? Like, okay. obviously, I don't feel like this is super accurate, but I feel like I, if I had to break it down, I would be like, mm -hmm. Europe runs car games, America kind of excels at things like maybe like CSGO, Valorant, something like that. Okay. And then, like, if you're looking in terms of, like, the MOBA scene, you're obviously looking at kind of more, uh, that's like Asian esports uh, region there. I don't know. That's probably, like, not true whatsoever, but that's just no, kind of, like, the vibe I get in terms of, like, yeah. this is what the different regions excel at in terms of esports. I kind of like, I get you on that one. Uh, I didn't really think about that before, but it, I won't say it makes sense, but that's usually, yeah, what I noticed as well now that, now that you say it. Uh, and we saw Gonta fail on the bug slide, like, uh, I said, on the beginning of the cast, like, it's one part where you can definitely fail, and it seems like they did. Yeah. We can, maybe we can switch to Goliath. May he'll fight for, uh, for the place to be in. Yeah, it looks like last. Goliath is That's just going to pull through. Yeah, yeah. Glass, unfortunately, uh, is kind of falling a little bit behind. Not as much as Gonta did. Unfortunately, that kind of mess up on the bug slide was enough to oh, disqualify And he's still Glass. in. Oh, Glass he's got the like little knock Artanir. Artanir, uh, Artanir, yeah. Although, is this a fake DNF from Artanir? Or I don't know what's going on here. Something happened. Uh, I think they took the oh, no, easy route. They took the easy route, yeah. That easy route will get you, yeah. And unfortunately, yep. as we come um, into our top 10, Gonta is eliminated and our number 10 player, Arjunir, is gone as well. Um, you were saying earlier, BMX, you were like, maybe I would get like top 20, maybe top 10. Having kind of seen now most of the process of getting up to that top 10, do you feel like you'd still be in contention at this point? Or uh, do you think you would have been eliminated? If if I didn't fail the bug slide, um, I might. But it seems quite hard now. But the thing is, like we see Artis in front with usually like a lot of time. He's usually either 0.5 ahead or something. But mm -hmm. the like the other players in the back are usually like one second or two seconds behind, if not more. Like we see uh, there, like plus three seconds for Glass. 
and it seems like he could still be in. So yeah. when you see this, it means um, consistency is definitely the key on that one. Right, yeah, like definitely, as long as you kind of have decent consistency on this map, I agree yeah. with you. It looks like a map where you will at least kind of get, well, not just good consistency, like any of the players who are still in the top nine, they're also all pretty skilled at mini RPG of the week. They are, yes, in general. Absolutely. But yeah. consistency, um, especially you see there kind of uh, Yannick's finish there with nearly a five second gap. Uh, that consistency is still going to get him through um, because there is kind of that gap in terms of what Artis is doing up front and then yeah. what other people are doing kind of further back throughout the top 10. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for two of those players in the top 10, Lucez and Goliath, that is the end of their mini RPG of the week tonight. We're coming into our top seven now. Seven is considered a lucky number for some. We could definitely do it some of that luck because it's been okay. maybe an unlucky oh. stream, you could call it, with some of the scuff levels we've yeah. seen. I clipped on that one, uh, talking about yeah. luck. That's uh, unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Streamer's curse. I, I mentioned lucky seven, and so someone immediately uh, got some bad luck. Absolutely, but hey, if he finishes uh, seven, he can call that like a chance, maybe. Um, yeah, it can be a good omen for next week. <laughs> true, true. Um, we see Marius um, still in the back. He is fighting to get uh, to get in. Um, Yannix is the decider, the place where. He'll need two of a take Yannix as of now, if he wants to still... Uh, yeah, play. I've noticed Yannix has kind of nearly consistently been sort of hanging around this cutoff point. Like, even, yes. say, like five rounds ago, when there were, like, you know, 25 people before getting cut off, we would see Yannix coming in with, like, 23 or 24, uh, which is interesting. Uh, in one way, kind of speaks to the way Yannix has sort of maybe picked up more or improved at the map, or just got a bit luckier with his rounds, uh, but as well kind of speaks to... Again, that consistency where Yannick has just been able to consistently get through and qualify for the next round. Unfortunately, something that's not going to be happening for Marius and Ice. Uh, again, two of our top players, seventh and sixth place, not bad at all. Um, but certainly, maybe they would have been hoping for a little bit better as well. And so it means Marius won't be our weekly mini RPG of the week winner. No, yeah, so it looks like whoever is getting closer to 10 wins this Ooh. evening, uh, it's not going to be some of our closer players. Yep. And Artis. Ooh, and it might not be Artis either, yeah. Yeah, Artis uh, is again, the clip. Again, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. just like Ice last time, that clip, exactly. unfortunately. Yes, the same clip, exactly the same as Ice. So Artis is a very good player. He's been uh, ruling this uh, edition of the RPG. So will he be able to, like, catch up to the people in front. Yeah, I wouldn't mark it completely off, um, but I'm not sure. Looks like there's a little bit of difficulty there, or maybe yeah. there's some weird camera stuff, I'm not sure. Yeah, we are down to top five, so now like catching up more than two seconds, uh, it seems quite yeah. tough. Yeah. yeah. Um, either way, our top five, we have got Artis, Hazard, Glast, Yannix, and Beta Toast, so pretty solid top five. Um, how are we feeling uh, at this stage where we've got our top five? Do you want to maybe call a winner? I would have called uh, Artis before this round, but unfortunately Artis is eliminated. Yeah, so. I wanted to call Artis um, on that one. But now that he's out, that's a very good question. Uh, Yannick has been hanging on by like a thread for a, a few rounds now. So I don't yeah. know. Like Yannick is a very good player, but I don't see him winning that edition. Um, yeah. Hazard. Hazard. He's a very, very good player, uh, RPG player. We might see him, but I don't think I'll see him win this edition either. So maybe I'll say Glass or Benetos. What do you think? Yeah, I think I have to go Benetos. We've seen Glass kind of struggle a little bit on some rounds and kind of fall into uh, sort of close to the elimination point. Mm -hmm. It might just be bad luck, but uh, I don't know. I feel like I have to give Benetos the, end, the edge of our remaining players. Benetos also has the best time as well. Although I notice, uh, even with kind of Artis eliminated now, Artis did still set the best time. 105.094 came really close to that 104, but still no one hitting the 104 that Yogg predicted we might see. So definitely a really good target time set by Yogg, if nothing else, turned out to be pretty accurate to what we were gonna see <laughs> in rounds. Fair enough, yeah, fair enough. Artis could have gone to the 1.04 mark, but yeah, Artis is out for, oh, Glass, oh, 
No glass. Oh. No. Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about, where we've seen glass just get a little bit unlucky yep. like that sometimes. And unfortunately, at this stage of the game, with four players left, unluckiness is all you need to be disqualified. Yeah, it's sadly uh, one fail and that'll be, that'll be it. So now we are yeah. on the top three. We have Beratos, Hazard and Yannix. So Yannix, honestly, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't think he would make it to the top three. Uh, seeing the, the <laughs> after he before. lent us his stream earlier and everything, how could you say that? <laughs> yeah. Didn't okay. Next? No. Sorry, Yannick. I didn't say Yannick is actually going to win, and he's going to be the first person yeah, exactly, to get the top ten exactly. wins, and Yannick's, he's going to be crowned the king win. of Trackmania. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Yannick, you'll win this. I believe in you. Um, <laughs> I wasn't talking before; it was my dog. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, we're seeing Yannick is currently winning this round anyway. Um, this is our second last race, our penultimate race. It's mm -hmm. the last bit of practice the players will get before the final round. And if Yannick does get into that final round, it's a good bit of practice because this has shown him how he can beat either of the two players he'll be racing against in the final. Beta Toast, um, my prediction for the winner, not doing too great in this round. Hopefully, uh, might be able to come ahead, but falling a little bit behind of Yannick mm -hmm. and Hazard. And I'm wondering, especially with that little bit of a scuffed landing there, if there's enough track left for Beta Toast to put themselves that seems back in really, competition. Really hard. Yeah. If you look at the leaderboard, um, you will see like plus plus two seconds. Yeah, it's two and, just, and a half seconds behind. Yay. It just means yeah. you'll need to save it a bit. Um, and and Hazard went past yeah. the finish. Ooh, that was, yeah, he clipped a bit, but Beta Toast is out now. Yeah. Good luck to uh, both players, Hazard and Yannix. Yeah. Hazard and Yannix. You're going for Yannix? Yeah, Yannix? Uh, like, absolutely. Yeah. Yannix will I'll, win this. I'll, I'll, I'll go for Hazard. I think, not that I don't recognize Yannix as, of course, the <laughs> overlord of my life, but it's nice to have a bit of disagreement between the two co-hosts. So even though I do worship Yannix as a god, Hazard, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be backing in this final round. <laughs> neck and neck, as we're coming now, the bug slide could be a section where we start to see a bit of a differentiation in position. Yannix pulls out a little bit ahead of Hazard, but certainly not an unrecoverable amount for our current second place racer. Uh, coming into checkpoint three right Yannick, now. How are you flip. feeling? Oof. Ooh, yeah. Okay, enough speed. It looks yeah, like barely enough speed. Okay, Hazard. Yeah, they he's are... managed to recover, but Hazard is right on his trail. This is a close one. Oh, um, more speed by Hazard. Which is Hazard. nice to see. He's taking the lead now. Yeah, oh, Hazard's pulled ahead. Oh, this is quite nice. I like yeah. having a nice close finish like this. Our our final race last week, yeah. Ooh, it was pretty clear he was winning that he one clipped, from the start. Hazard clipped, Hazard clipped a bit. Ooh. So Yannick's, oh, Yannick's taking over. Yannick's pulled ahead again. Oh, this okay. is actually like, oh, the battle. this is a okay. nice tense final race. Okay. Yeah. 0.09 away. It could be anyone's game. It could be anyone's oh, game no. at this point. Oh, no, Yannick's, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that's very lucky. Oh. Unless Hazard fucks up. Unless that could be it for Annex. Unless no, okay, no. I will win this. TG. Yeah, that was a, a decent really, time. really good round. Yeah, not even a bad time from Yannick there. Even after that reset, no. at 111. Not necessarily a bad time uh, at all. Well done to Hazard. Well done to Yannick as well. Uh, really, really close match. Um, Hazard was able to just kind of edge out. He had that consistency, right? He didn't have to go for the reset that Yannick did, and it kind of once again nails in. Consistency is what you need in mini RPG of the week. Um, but yeah, really close match, really yep. great performance from uh, a lot of our racers this evening, except for maybe, you know, the third of them who were eliminated in round two, <laughs> but we won't talk about them. Thank you to Yannix for sharing his stream with us Thank during uh, an unfortunately scuffed section. Thank you to BMX for the beautiful, beautiful music that we heard. Uh, Yannix <laughs> is taking a look at whatever is going on here. I don't know what this is, but Yannix is taking a look at it nonetheless. Um, so thank you, um, you know. Uh, I would recommend to check out Yannick's stream as a way of thanking him, but he always streams at the same time we do here for Mini RPG of the Week, so actually never watch his stream because you should be watching us instead, and the only <laughs> way you should see Yannick's stream is if we're stealing it. So that's my opinion on the matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, talking about the rounds, what do you think about either the rounds or the map for a quickie, quick final, you know? Quick. I really liked it. Um, it was quite a cool map. Uh, it was one of those maps that definitely created... Uh, a lot of space for that kind of head-to-head -head racing mm -hmm. that we saw in the final round with Yannick and Hazard, which is kind of always what you hope to see in the final round, something nice and exciting and sort of nail-biting like that. So yes. that was nice to see. Absolutely. Um, in terms of kind of one thing that I enjoy to see in maps, which is like kind of salty sections that can tilt the players a little bit, wasn't <laughs> okay. really a lot of that in this map. 
um, which, you know, on the one hand means that there's no like really wacky uh, upsets, but on the other hand means that the players can really get to the grips uh, and kind of get to the root of what the map is about, which creates mm -hmm. that kind of high skill chasing that we saw at the end as well. How did you feel? Uh, I felt like, yeah, the map was honestly quite nice, uh, quite nice and really enjoyable uh, to watch as well. Um, and I felt like, yeah, it created a lot of uh, spaces where like players could fail and could come back as well. We saw Hazard on, you know, the final where he come back on the, you know, there was like a backward part uh, up on like quarter pipe and he caught up on yeah. that one. It, it's a part yeah, that I wasn't he... expecting him to catch on. And yet he did. Yeah, and... I didn't even necessarily realize there was that much mm -hmm. speed that could be gained in that section. Yeah, me neither. Hazard like really picked it up. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah. And the final round as well was honestly a really, really good round. Yeah, a really nice final round. Both players. So I think we can round this edition for this week. Thank you yep. very much for uh, casting with us. And... Yeah, no problem. Um, thank you for... Uh, joining us anyone who watched tonight thank you to all of our players who participated and well done to the players who did well enough to make it into the top 10 and will be exactly. immortalized forever on liquipedia and yes. thank you again to bmx um for uh joining me as a co-host and as well yeah. first time thank producing you. a little bit scuffed but pretty yes. good for the first time <laughs> definitely better scuffed. than whatever i would do so um <laughs> thank you very much as well for that Thank you. Thank you for being there as well. And thank you to Yog, yeah. the mapper. We kind of yes, forgot about him, Yog, but thank course. you, Yog. And yeah. we'll see you. Sorry, I forgot to mention Yog. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't have had a race tonight without Yog. So thank you very much. <laughs> and we'll see you on another week. Bye bye, everyone. See you guys. Bye. Thank you.